Last one to finish is a pointy-eared leaf lover. Welcome back, everyone. Merry Christmas. It is... Well, it's too late. I should be in bed. But the kids have the cookies out and the milk. They're sleeping with dreams of Santa. I found a quiet moment. And I thought I'd try to get this engineer at least out. So, similar to the first three episodes, uh, Zenithal Prime. So, I did the black base coat primer. Uh, white down. No, I went a little more crazy on the white, I think, on this guy. I didn't just dry brush a little bit and do some highlights. I did a lot of highlights. So, as you can see, he's pretty white. Uh, he is going to be very bright in the end. We do some plate mail. Army painter normal war paints and then I'm gonna follow that here with some uh, just whatever matte white you got So I got a little frustrated with the yellow options in the speed paints. That Zenithal yellow is, I mean, it's almost an orangey yellow when you really look at it. Um, the Zealot yellow, that is. So I decided to dabble in some inks. Again, I've got a local Michael's craft hobby store, so they don't have a lot of great selection of our mini type lines of paint, but they do have a lot of acrylics, uh, Liquitex and a few other brands. So for the shoulder pads and the knee pads and the hat, I decided to uh, use inks with a little matte medium. So it'd be a nice smooth application, be real bright, colorful, maybe too colorful as I have dubbed this the fireman engineer you'll see at the end um, but it came out pretty good I you could certainly use zealot yellow honestly if I could go back I would say probably just do hardened leather for the knee pads and the shoulders and still stick to everything else the same and it would look great but I was experimenting and trying to do something new here so I just rolled with it I'm also going for the tubing on the side of the gun in the game, I had cosmetics that basically made it glow like good old 80s neon, you know, tubing. So I did attempt to go super bright yellow on it, 
and we'll add some other colors later to that. For the red cloth, essentially his pants and upper, I don't know, jumper suit, whatever that is, I went with a four to one mix of blood red to speed paint medium. Came out pretty good. I had to go back and recoat the belly and chest a little more towards the end and a few other spots. You know, you just got to look where you want them to be a little darker. Uh, so I did do some touch up as well. For the backpack, pouches, straps, boots, uh, the little straps hooking the grenades on them, all those parts I went with just straight up hardened leather, no dilution, no additions. Uh, you see I spent a little time on the top of the backpack here too, just trying to get that pulling off. It's a large flat surface so I was trying to avoid any of the, the coffee staining type uh, scenarios. So I tried to keep that layer on top smooth and thin.
So not totally with happy with how the little glowing tubing came out on the side of the gun, but you know, I'm, this is one of those you gotta experiment, you gotta try different things. So I went with some plasmatic bolt over that yellow ink, so it was kind of a greenish blue glow. It works. So with a grim black, I hit the gun barrel right at the start here. I tried it on a few other spots, like the soles of the boot, briefly. And honestly, I, I forgot how black grim black is. It lives up to its name. So you'll see I am using it through the rest of this section. I just go very lightly, like on that little toolbox, lunchbox thing on his belt. That is still grim black. You could easily use Gravelord Gray there. It'd probably be better than trying to do what I did because I honestly come back with some, um, you know, dark tone washes later on. So you could Gravelord Gray the gun, that toolbox, and then just hit it with some actual black wash later and pretty much achieve the same level of darkness I end up with. Save you this step. Also with the grim black, I did decide ultimately to just go for kind of like jet black grenades over the metallic that was on there. So yeah, you could certainly be more colorful than that. Maybe I was running out of steam towards the end there, but it seemed to blend in well with the overall look of things. So I did do the black for the grenades as well.
One of my favorite colors that was in the Mega Set is Sand Golem. I actually bought this individually. You can, if you find a good supplier online, do that. Um, so if you just have the beginner basic set, I highly recommend Sand Golem, uh, the Dark Wood. You know, there's a, there's a few really good colors in there. The Camo Green I keep finding myself using on various projects. Um, but yeah, so I did the Sand Golem for his beard, his hair, and then there's like a little strip around that, again, that toolbox lunchbox that I decided to make an off color with it as well. Soft tone is that brownish wash from Army Painter. I decided to hit basically all the leather bits to uh, give them a little more detail, blend them together a little better. I think at the very end I had a little bit left, so I did a super, super light coat across the knee pads and shoulder pads just to kind of grime them up a little bit. You can't be too yellow and clean with that ink color I put on there. Follow up the soft tone with dark tone. That's going to go on the gun metal. Uh, try getting those recesses that need that, you know, little deeper shadows. I also hit his sunglass lenses again and the bands around the side of his head. I think I did a little bit on the toolbox and a few spots where I want to put some shadows in. Um, maybe a couple of the grenades if they're still not dark enough and ultimately a little bit on the rock and the little light on his shoulder. assignment congratulations so yeah it's an engineer he's very bright and lively um the red seemed okay to me i like the leather with the red the yellow i don't know maybe too much what do you think should i just go on leather all around yeah it's one of those I'm, i'll probably play with some more color palettes before i do the actual boxed uh model once that game arrives 
Rock I didn't do much with. I admit it. I got a little lazy trying to get this one cranked out. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I am working on the Praetorians. Here's a shot. I would be interested if you happen to see this part and hear this request. Put something in the comments. Which of these two, the left or right one, do you think looks better for the glow? These again were me using some inks. Uh, one is a light green and the other was a Liquitex fluorescent green. So I was trying to get a really super bright, almost white green glow as you see on one versus that lime yellow. So that's the current project, trying to get the Praetorians cranked out next. See you soon.